still marathon training still marathon training i'll get you that update all right good morning everyone good morning oh man gosh what a night what a night all right yes i am marathon training i'll get you Get you the rationale as to why I'm still pressing ahead. You better believe it. Week 10, week 10, unbelievable. I can't believe it's week 10. Uh, but last night, little Henry decided to wake us all up around 3 a.m., which, look on the bright side, it allowed me to edit the Nike Alpha Fly Next Percent unboxing uh, video, which I've been sitting on the shoes for like four days now. I just haven't had the time to film the unboxing for all of you. So if you haven't seen the Nike Alpha Fly Next Percent unboxing, upper right hand corner, you can go check it out. They are here, ready for testing. I'm not sure when this week um, I will do the testing, but uh, because I woke up at 3 a.m., I know, like I'm just tired. I'm just, I'm just tired. So I'm not gonna do my long run today. Uh, probably do a double instead, just to break it up a little bit, because I can, I can feel, feel the need for some antioxidants, if you know what I mean. All right, time to go get Michael up. All right, here we go. It just doesn't stop. It just doesn't stop. There's the baby. Oh, good morning, Henry. Four. <laughs> now he's uh, he get he just slept four hours and forty five minutes straight. Four hours forty five minutes, but he did get me up early. But hun, look on the bright side. I got a second video done and it's pump published. Wow. So <laughs> you can, Emma, you could thank Henry for the Nike Alpha Fly Next Percent video. Is it is it dark? It's probably dark, but that's okay. It's blue and yellow. Um, Han. Well, I think I actually. I, the reason I got up is because I think I actually slept hard from nine ten. Nine ten. Ten to one. So. And then I probably would not have gotten up. If it wasn't for the video, <laughs> you guys inspired me to get out of bed. <laughs> so, yes, I will sleep tonight. Uh huh. All right, we're back, we're back, we're back. Marathon training, week 10. Time to quit, time to quit. You know my answer. I'm gonna dive into that in one second. I brought my laptop out because I have some notes, uh, a lot of information to cover, and because the, the virus, and we're not gonna talk about the virus every single day, I promise, but it is impacting a lot of different things, uh, as you all know, and so we need to cover a lot of different topics. First of all, first topic is live stream tomorrow night 4 p.m all right four so a little earlier in the day i'm hoping to catch a few night owls over in europe and africa and um so anyway it's gonna be 4 p.m mountain time tomorrow wednesday march 17th all right today's run 15 miles 710 a mile all right and i decided to go middle distance as opposed to long run again because of the lack of sleep last night i'm really glad i made that decision uh i, I could have pushed through with the long run i felt decent once i got going uh, but it was really nice like i just checked out i was just checked out just cruising along since we last talked about the coronavirus uh, two or three days ago four days ago uh, a lot has happened and 
More information is available. The experts have spoken. In fact, the experts are speaking right now in the United States that we are not to gather in groups larger. I've heard two numbers. I've heard this morning I heard 50 people, but then that number may have dropped even more down to, to 10 people over the next, um, well, I heard this morning for the next eight weeks. So for two months, no, that's the CDC, uh, the Center for Disease Control's recommendation. Okay, so this is new information. Again, I'm listening to the experts. I'm not making, uh, I'm not um, trying to hold the crystal ball as to what the future will hold, which means uh, for my marathon training, and yes, here is the poster that is uh, becoming more and more uh, interesting to hold up because uh, the race is not going to happen. It is not going to happen. Ladies and gentlemen, you all know Hamburg is done and basically every other race is done. So we are right up here. The taper was on the horizon. What are we? La, 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 four weeks out. So really about a week from now, approximately, let me think. Da, da, da. Yeah. A week to 10 days, uh, would the taper would have started for me if I were doing Hamburg. But I'm not doing Hamburg because there's no races happening in, in Europe or anywhere really frankly else in the world. Now because of the CDC recommendation, the Irving Marathon and Half Marathon has officially been uh, postponed or canceled. I don't know if they've made w which one yet, but it is not happening. Uh, plan D, the Fargo Marathon, my Plan D in mid-May, I think it was May 9th, is now postponed to late August, okay? So that just happened, I think, this morning. And now the question becomes for me, maybe for you as well, if you've been training, whether you're training for a mile in high school or a marathon or an ultra marathon, wherever you're at in your training block, do you throw in the towel because the races are being canceled left and right? No way. Jose, am I throwing in the towel on this marathon training block? No way. I've made it too far. And you know what? The journey is just too sweet. The journey. You know it's all about the journey, right? It's about the fight to get to the starting line as fit, fresh, and healthy as possible. I just think that we've all put in way too much work to just throw in the towel completely because there's no official starting line where you get your t-shirt, you get your bib number, you get that medal at the end of the race. No, no, no. Like, yeah. think about the work you've put in. I just, I don't know. For me, mentally, all right, this is the other side. So there's fit, don't touch your face. There's fitness and there's the mental side as well. I think um, how I approach it is that when you get to that starting line and you are focused and you're, you are in the zone, that is your, um, I don't, it, 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 it's your, it's your moment to go deep within yourself. A depth that I think we runners are privileged to experience on a fairly regular basis when the races are happening, okay? So I just think like we need that exertion that release of all the hard work that you have put in to your training block, okay? And I, know, I, I need it. There's no way, 10 weeks and eventually whatever it ends up being, whether it's 13, 14, 15, 16 weeks of training, no way I'm not gonna let her rip. Let loose, baby. Let let it rip. I like. I cannot just sit on the sidelines. All right. With all that said, everyone, you got me a little excited that whenever we talk about racing in the studio, I just get excited. You get me going, and it's about to get a little more exciting. So, what is the game plan for my marathon training block moving forward? All right. Here's the game plan. When I get ready for a race, I'm getting ready to run a fast time and to compete, meaning to to win, to to race people. Well, we cannot race people, other runners, over the next month, two months, three months, who knows how long. Uh, therefore, I'm going to relax my training in this way. Hear me out. I'm still going to run high volume, and I'm still going to do workouts, threshold workouts, but here's two ways I'm going to, and you can uh, think about, you know, maybe if you were getting ready for a big important race, uh, and you still want to continue training hard, Maybe you can relax your training in this way. Um, so for me, I'm going to integrate some FKT attempts, 
All right, that's number one. And I'll, I'll explain what that is. FKT, fastest known times, fastest known times. So there's actually a website. Here it is on your screen, fastestknowntimes.com. It's updated pretty regularly. Uh, bear with it though. What it is, is it's a website that's managed by um, a, a gentleman here in Boulder, Colorado, where people can submit their attempts at certain um, courses around the world and basically people over the course of time run the same course and uh, people try to run it faster than uh, anyone else in, in history, anyone else before. So there's some, uh, there's some loops and some courses and some mountains here in Colorado that I want to do some FKT attempts on over the next uh, couple months. And because I'm not getting ready for the Hamburg Marathon, I'm going to integrate that into my training. Okay, number two is time trials in fast shoes. So with the arrival of the Nike Alpha Flies and many other shoes that are coming out, uh, carbon fiber plate shoes, I'm gonna integrate some creative uh, time trials into my training over the next, let's say four to eight weeks. Okay, so stay tuned for that. Also though, it's getting more exciting. I'm not giving up as I already explained why. Um, marathon, all right? Now, the lowest elevation in Colorado is 3,300 feet, still pretty high. Uh, Denver is 5,280 feet above sea level. There it is on your screen in meters. So I'm not gonna hop on an airplane and go fly to San Diego or fly to Miami or fly to Houston and run a marathon at sea level, okay? I'm listening to the experts. I'm not gonna hop on an airplane, all right? Um, now, at this point, you know, because the information has been updated. Therefore, I'm going to do a marathon here in Colorado, likely somewhere in Denver area, uh, somewhere on the front range. Okay, I'm still trying to find a course. And yes, the question of the day, here we go, everyone. Who is ready? Who can join the first inaugural Demore Global Running Virtual Marathon? I don't have a date yet. I'm working on the details. Stay tuned. I will announce it very soon. I'll create the event. So we're going to do a Demore Global Running virtual marathon over the next um, four to eight weeks. I just don't know when it will happen exactly. Maybe it'll be the day that Boston was going to happen. Maybe it'll be the day that London was going to happen. Uh, maybe it'll be the day that, um, I don't even know. I don't know. I will, we will just have to see. So, and if you're not training for a marathon, um, we could still use the cheering on down in the comments because uh, I think mentally, once again, back to that mental, having a goal to shoot for is just so critical for us as runners to keep us keep us keep us and even just to gosh i just thought of this like like imagine just throwing in the towel and like stop training or like i don't know i just think it's so healthy to get outside into the fresh air with distance with distance all right you might want to limit uh limit those group runs uh but um and keep moving forward keep training i think it's just so good and healthy for the world. And with that said, everyone, I know these are difficult times, trying times, uh, unique times, but we can still communicate here on YouTube. I'm here to help get us all out the door, uh, get us moving, you know, keep us moving. And uh, this too shall pass. This too shall pass. It doesn't seem like it right now, but it will pass. And uh, man, and we can still race virtually together. All right, everyone, we're going to toss it back to the last race that I filmed, the U.S. Olympic Marathon Team Trials right there. Oh, man, that seems like ages ago at this point, but there you go. If you want to check that out, thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. Seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.